Hi, I'm Margie. I hope you enjoy this little video we've produced. EMF exposure is causing insomnia, depression, anxiety, illness and memory loss. Those people who dismiss concerns about EMFs, may wish to take a closer look at the evidence of harm that has been caused by EMF exposure. Yes, it is true that some EMFs are emitted naturally by the sun, and even the earth, geopathic stress. But we humans, are being exposed to previously unheard of levels, of artificial EMFs in the past year. And the levels are only going to grow with the increase of wireless technology. As the name implies, electromagnetic fields are made up of electric and magnetic fields. Sitting perpendicular to each other, they travel together, in the form of an invisible wave. Man-made EMFs are put into two categories, by the National Institute of Environmental Health Sciences. The lower frequency, is classified as a non-ionizing radiation, that bears a frequency lower than visible light. These are given off by computers, smart meters, microwave ovens, cell phones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, MRIs, and power lines. The higher frequency EMF radiation waves, bear higher frequencies than visible light. They are ionizing radiation, and include gamma rays, X-rays and UV light. Most people dismiss the idea that high-frequency radiation can cause problems. Getting sunburnt is one of the dangers of being exposed to UV lighting. There are good reasons why pregnant women are not allowed near X-rays. The effects of low-frequency EMF radiation however, can be a bit subtler. The symptoms caused by the prolonged use of smart meters, cell phones, Wi-Fi etc cannot be noticed easily at first. But what is making the problem worse, is the fact that the corporations owning the telecommunications and electronics industries, are working hard to dismiss the concerns, to allow them to keep making big money profits. A meta-analysis of cell phone studies, for example, have shown that most of the studies that were not funded by these industries, indicated a higher risk of brain tumors, amongst phone users. Whereas the majority of the cell phone industry's funded studies, showed that people who used cell phones, had a lower risk of brain tumors. A conflict of interest. Because our heart and nervous system run on electricity, exposure to EMF is dangerous. That is why, a defibrillator can shock a heart back into life. The electromagnetic signals in our body however, are weak in comparison to those created artificially. Interference by EMF to our heart, brain and mitochondria is therefore dangerous. Low frequency EMF radiation, has been assigned as a possible carcinogen, by the International Agency for Research on Cancer. Anxiety, depression insomnia, dizziness, adrenal fatigue, brain fog, memory loss, and hormonal imbalances, in addition to a higher risk of cancer, are some of the symptoms experienced by those who are exposed to long periods of high levels, of low frequency electromagnetic fields. Neurological problems and inflammatory symptoms, have been noted by many, when they had smart meters installed in their homes. It has been shown, that EMFs can directly change the behavior of tissues and cells alike, in a study published in the Electronic Physician, therefore harming your bone marrow, blood, DNA, reproductive system, cardiovascular system and endocrine system. So, what can we do to reduce our exposure to man-made EMFs? First of all, you should switch off your electronic devices, when you are not using them. Try to stick to hardwired connections, instead of Wi-Fi, or Bluetooth, if possible. This includes peripherals such as your keyboard and mouse. Turn off your Wi-Fi router at night, and try not to sleep near electronic devices. 
Always keep your devices away from your body. Avoid the use of headphones with your cell phone, for long conversations, and don't put them in your pockets or bra. EMF phone shields, can help reduce your exposure. Use EMF protection products, to harmonize the negative effects the EMFs have on your body. You may wish to try grounding, as this helps your body neutralize the positive ions given off from your electronic devices. It can be as simple as walking barefoot on damp grass or a sandy beach. A nutritious diet that contains lots of antioxidants can help. Did you enjoy that? We hope so, because here at Life Energy Designs, we want to educate you so that you can live the best possible life that you can. Any feedback or anything that you want to say to us, we would love to hear from you. Take care.